Well, hello guys. I thought that I wanted to go ahead and take part in this Vlogtober that a lot of YouTubers are doing this month. I actually saw several people uh, back during the holidays last year do Vlogmas, and I thought, wow, how cool that is. I really liked the idea, and I loved watching people's life throughout the month as they prepared for Christmas. So I thought, when next year rolls around, I definitely want to participate in that. Not sure how many people actually care about our life or not, but I thought that that would be fun to participate in. So when I saw that people are now beginning to do this for October, that I wanted to just go ahead and jump in and participate. If you guys want to hang out with me a little bit every day during the month, then stick around. And if not, I absolutely understand. As you can tell, the makeup is off, the hair is thrown up. It was very late whenever I found out about this Vlogtober. So I thought I would just go ahead and jump right on in anyway. And I'm going to turn my camera around to show you guys some of what I've been up to today. Not really an exciting day at all. Around here, we have just been pretty much taking care of household things. But I do have to stop the camera in order to be able to turn it around. So we'll just fit these together and let you see what's going if on. If you guys have been following our channel, then you do know that our home has been up under some reconstruction and uh, we're definitely not finished or even close to being finished, but at least we are getting there. So you can see that today I have just been doing laundry. Talk about airing your dirty laundry on social media. Wow, never thought I would do that. Nothing very exciting, but uh, it has to be done nonetheless, right guys? I don't know of any family yet that doesn't have soiled clothes at the end of the day. So this is part of what we've been taking care of. And I do also have another super fun project. As you can see, the uh, floor in our kitchen is finally down and we've just about gotten done with the kitchen. I haven't done an update video in a little while, but it's coming together. We do still have some trim that needs to go back up on some of the countertops. And um, we do still have to get the backsplash on. You can see I still don't even have a curtain or a valance or mini blinds or anything except for a garbage bag. We still don't have closet doors. Uh, that back little closet right there still needs some shelves. Actually, all of these do. Both pantries still need some shelves. Right now we just have temporary ones that we have stuck in there, but they all do need doors. And of course, back over the washer and dryer will go a set of cabinets as well as the long wall. So we're getting there. The uh, lights still don't even have a casing or a face over those, but at least they do light up. And you can tell though that there is no flooring done in any of the rest of the house yet. It is still just the old bare plywood. I'm going to walk you down here into what is right now just a big mess of a storage room. This actually is my husband and my uh, master bedroom. It will be when it's all done, but as you can tell, it is a total disaster right now. We've been pulling a lot of things out and cleaning things out as we go. When you have mold issues, even though things look like they are okay, they're really not necessarily okay because they do hold mold. So we're going through things. This room is not even close to being done. You can tell there's no paint on the walls yet. It's still just drywall. Nothing is finished up on the ceiling. And of course, some more of those gorgeous black bags <laughs> that are up. Uh, right now we are sharing another room down at the other end of the house, so we're not sharing that. We've actually booted one of the kids out to a different room and have taken over their room. But this is one of the projects that I wanted to show you that my husband is working on. It's still leaning a little wonky right now. You can see that. Let me see if I can at least go ahead and turn it on for you guys. This little cubby hole, this little nook right here. Let's see if you can get like a good view. That is going to be the shoe closet when it's all finally finished. Right now my shoes are still in some garbage bags for the most part, except for the ones that I used most often. At last count, I believe I have like 80 pair of shoes. I know that is absolutely ridiculous, ladies, but hey, come on, we all have something that we love, right? So eventually that will be all organized in there. And 
this little area right here, this little nook, will be my vanity. I uh, still have to paint the furniture. I've got an old, old dresser that was my grandmother's whenever she and my granddad very first got married like 60 years ago. However, matter of fact, no, let's see, that probably would be probably about 70, 65 years ago, about 65 years ago. So it's a piece that I'm super excited to refinish and use here in my vanity. But this little chandelier was just gorgeous. And believe it or not, I found this at Lowe's on clearance for just $7. That's right. You heard me just $7. So we homeschool our children and my daughter is actually using part of this little room right now for her homeschooling. We just have a little makeshift area set up for her to use right now just to have a little privacy down here on this end of the house while my son is doing school at the other end of the house. So we wanted to give her just a little more lighting up there. This of course will have to come down when we get ready to finish the room. But anyway, that was another little fun project that we worked on today. As you guys can see down here in this end of the house, we still don't have any new furniture yet. We did have to get rid of our leather sofa and love seat because of course that will hold mold spores and you'd have to go back and just look at all the old videos to watch the story. Mold is not always something that you see. Our mold issues were up in the ceiling and also down behind walls around the windows where they had been leaking and we didn't know it. So to walk into the house, you could not see that. But there you see the remnants of the laundry. My daughter has been working on that real hard this evening, but we do still have just the garbage bags. We did find these panels at Big Lots uh, just a couple of weeks ago now, I guess. So I still haven't taken them down to iron them. Wasn't real sure if we were gonna be happy with them if we wanted to keep them, but I do believe that I am loving them. We also have the same panels right across over there on the other side in the dining room. So we just wanted to try them out. We do have some shears that we had purchased and you can see over there all of the construction supplies that my husband still has out because we are working little by little on the house still. It's just a matter of those things as the money rolls in, we'll finish. So we don't have furniture back yet. This is what we're making do with right now until we can. As you can see, the floors still are not done. And just holding on the best we can. Anyway, it is what it is. Sometimes life hands you some lemons and you just have to do the best with it that you can. If you want to know more about that story, then I would be happy to do a whole video on the process and the journey. You can go look back through the archives of my videos and you will see some of the house updates that we've done along and along. We haven't done one every month and we didn't even do them at the very beginning because quite honestly, we just didn't even think about it. There is a Facebook page page that a friend of ours had created to let people stay up to date on what we were doing at the time that has some pictures of just how horrible of a situation it was that we were in once we got to tearing walls down. So we have basically just rebuilt the whole, the whole mobile home. We have had to tear down the ceilings and uh, everything really except for the actual framing of the home. So it's been a journey, two and a half years in the making. We're tired, but we're not even close to being done. So little by little, as the money comes in, we'll get it done all in God's good timing. Anyway, I just thought I would share just a few minutes with you. I'm going to try my best to do a video every day for you guys in October. Can't promise it, but I am certainly going to try, even if it's just for a couple of minutes, to check in and say hi. So if you like these Vlogtober videos, make sure you give me a thumbs up and leave me some comments down below and let me know what's happening in your life. We'll see you tomorrow.